What's up, my friends? I'm Stat. This is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Look at that view. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Wow. All right, so we're doing a solo mission here, um, just me and the AI, but it's not just solo mission because your friends can jump in through seamless multiplayer. They can just join you and play. So we are going to take drone out our airborne. drone here. We use this thing a lot basically to help scout out the situation. We want to be able to see who's here and like once you target a guy, you know where he is forever. He has a dot on his head and you'll be able to uh, basically keep track of him on your map and as well as visually if he's in your line of sight. So here we go. We're going to uh, mark some people. There we go. We marked him. Marked him. Awesome. So yeah, we got three guys with us right now. Uh, you, can, you can order them around, tell them to do certain things. And like I said, if your friends want to jump in, they can come play. That is a seamless integration, which is so exciting. I'm so like looking forward for people to be able to jump in and out of the stream while we're playing. Good eyes on the target. So we're gonna Let's take move. out this guy. As That's you can see, kill. the game is third person, but when you go into um, aim down sights, it switches to um, the actual weapon. I end up changing that to uh, over the shoulder instead of aim down sight, but then. Later on, I change it back while I was playing in multiplayer. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to keep on uh, for now. Basically, we're sneaking around. You want to, like, take it easy because basically the way it works, I go into these situations. I try my best to stay stealthy, but you never know. Eventually, you make a mistake and then you end up going, uh, you know, guns blazing. Yeah, just in time, that guy had just spotted us. So basically, we're trying to interrogate this dude who's down there. We are going to um, hopefully just quickly interrogate him. He's going to tell us where this other dude is. And um, we take again our drone. I use this thing a lot. Super easy to just uh, mark these guys. You could also do it with your binoculars or if you're just looking at them um, down your sights as well. But this game is massive. If you look at the distance, you can see it is just gigantic. And anywhere that you can see, you can go. So, I mean, it's just, it's huge. I got two Sicarios next to that crate of calm gear. All right, so we marked them all. We're going to go try and get, um, sneak up behind them, kill a bunch of the dudes, and then interrogate that guy. Let's head down. Oh, we almost got spotted. That was fucking close. So close. They almost caught me. So we're going to cross the street here. Try not to get hit by any cars. Oh. So we crossed the street. We're trying to go around. See if we can uh, sneak behind these dudes. And then, look at this. This guy walks up where I just came from. I mean, it, can he make it any easier on me? So we're head back over there. <laughs> All right, so we'll sneak up behind him, and we're gonna interrogate this dude. Mierda! These guys, silencio, marche. Interrogate. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, we're... <laughs> Hold up. They're gonna see you. Oh, we almost got spotted, so we have to rearrange here. Interrogate him again. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> You serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. 
Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Pretty sure my team is engaging right now while I'm interrogating this guy. Need to get this done in a hurry. Maru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. See, as you can see now, it's not aimed down sights. I'm doing over the shoulder. So there's multiple ways you can you can set it up however you like it best. Um, I wasn't sure which one I like better, to be honest. I, I, I like looking down uh, the sight, but I found it, like, I wasn't sure. And when I switched this, I did enjoy it, but then when I played it later with aim down sights, I also enjoyed that. So now I'm kind of torn over which one I'm going to play as. Anyways, let's jump on this motorcycle and head to free Amaru. One thing that I was actually very uh, excited about was the handling in the game. The vehicles actually hand really well, handle really well. Like this bike does some awesome uh, drifts. Check this out. Check these drifts. I love when he puts his foot down too. We almost fly off the cliff. Like, oh. We made it. All right, so we're coming up on this next compound. And we're gonna try and be even more stealthy this time. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray this game round, looks so awesome, though. Be dead in the water I can't wait to stars. play this on stream. So here we are, tagging everyone with our binoculars. Makes five. Another way you could do it. Really I'll helps to be able to do this, by the way. It just makes your life easier. There, that guy snuck out from behind, you see? Sometimes you gotta be patient in the beginning before you move in. So it's good to when you're working with your friends that you guys can understand this is the type of game it is. I mean, you could go in all guns blazing if you wanted to, but there's also kind of like a fun factor to being a little stealthy. I'm not, I'm not the biggest stealth guy, but I do like to try it a bit in the beginning. And then I usually, you know, mess it up and then end up uh, just throwing grenades. Rocket launchers. <laughs> Alright, so sneak around, hide behind these hay bales. I wonder what this scarecrow is for. Doesn't scare me. This tall grass. I'm not sure if the tall grass actually keeps you fully hidden. You might have to be behind the wall. Alright, we got a bunch of these guys. They don't look happy. <laughs> Target down. Ooh. Headshot. Watch it. I love silencers too, it's just so cool. I mean, you can put a couple bullets in, you don't have to just shoot once, and you could still uh, not notify anyone. So sick. All right, breathe easy. Breathe easy. Look at that mountain in the background. All right, we got a guy on the left. Got some dudes on the right. Don't mess this up. Ah, oh. <laughs> All right. Move in. Move in. All right, we gotta we gotta get that guy out of there, and uh, we gotta free that dude. There's a couple guys on the other side. So there's like so many different ways you can approach these situations, and if you have your friends with you as well. You can also utilize your the AI, which I am not doing here, <laughs> but you can. Um, you can use them to, uh, to, you know, to send them places to help you to attack these dudes. You can even time your shots with them. All right, here comes a guy. We're hiding. 
Probably should have shot him before. I end up being with this like weird angle. That's a kill. But luckily we killed the guy. Um, but I think, yeah, I think we're still good. I think there's like three guys, four guys left. Oh, this guy. Okay, he knows. He knows. Okay, he's upset. All right, he's down. We got three dudes left. Fire. Here, I ordered my team to open fire. I'm not sure if they actually do. We blast that guy. We blast this guy. And there's one guy outside. I'm not sure if they kill him or not. No. We had to do it. They wanted to test my skills. All right, so I'm going to free this dude. Shoot that lock. I think they're shooting at some other people now. Are you Amaru? All right. What's left of him Come with way? me. Come on. I'm Come with me, here. Amaru. Let's go. There's a weapons case. So how are we gonna get out of here? No how are we gonna get out of here, huh? Ooh, picking up some accessories. A scope. You know, we, yeah. Let's get in the helicopter. Fly over these mountains. Pick up some ammo there. You can also modify your gun in that um, in that case. All right, so take the heli. I'll pilot. Get in, my friends. Get in. All right, let's fly over this mountain we were looking at before. Like I said, Back if you could see, friend. you can go there. Look how awesome it looks. Take it up with him, sick. So sick, dude. So sick. Oh, I want to play this game some more. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And yeah, the guys, the gameplay felt super smooth. Um, I really liked the way that the guns felt, the way you could modify the guns as well. We'll show you that in another video. Um, and. It's, it's also the character customization is super sick. I'm gonna show you guys that in another video also So stay tuned guys. We're gonna get to this point and drop this guy off. We saved him Maru And so yeah, this is just one of the main uh, story missions and there's is going to be a ton of side missions, I, I can imagine. I really just can't wait to get my hands on this game. I'm super excited. I'd love to know what you guys think based on what you just saw. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys hyped up for this game? Are you excited to Yo, see some streams of this game? Here. Just think about it. Four player, four streamers, co-op. How awesome is that going to be? Nice. Let's even get that organized, have some here. fun. Ooh, a sniper rifle. That's what we need. I love snipers. Sniping in this game is sick as well. Look at my dude. That's what I would look like if I was, you know, a ghost. That would be me. Anyways, guys, so that's about it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like. And I will see you guys all in the next live stream.